Hey good buddies, what's up and welcome into the Good Buddies Anime Review. I am your good buddy Roger. And I am your good buddy Brandon. And we are going back. You heard you heard me right. I did say review on the that. We are doing a review today. Can you believe it? Can I you can't imagine? I can't believe it. I can't. Uh we actually did a review of the first season. This this is mm-hmm. the second season of Doctor Stone. Stone, Stone Wars. Wars. Uh, no war but stone wars am i right <laughs> yeah sure uh, war y'all <laughs> <laughs> um oh, yeah i i i really enjoyed the first season uh this one came in it's much more compact 11 episodes compared to the 24 yes yes and uh boy do they they put it all in and really you know right out the gate hit the pedal to the floor yeah man uh this is this is going to be more of uh, Senku and Tsukasa's story continued. Before we yeah, get too what, ahead what of What are we doing here? We're doing a review like we used to all the time. Can you imagine? Yeah, um, I actually think we do have a few reviews coming up. So get ready for that if you enjoy the reviews. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff this season. But the way this uh, review thing works is it's going to be a review of recommendation. We, your good buddies, are going to tell you, our good buddies, whether we think you should check out this show or not. Um, and the way we're going to get there, Roger, is we have a, a a little tier list. And right. if this show was straight up boo-boo garbage, what would you call that? I'll call it an anime, maybe not. What if it was like not the worst, but it, meh. It was average. It was fine. Hey, man, that's anime, maybe. It was actually pretty good, though. And most definitely. But if it was awesome, Roger, if, if it, it was, was so, so good. If it was so, so good i call that an amazing. Yeah, you would. And the way we're going to get there is we have a few different categories that we're going to go over. Uh, uh, two stars each category, five different categories for a possible ten stars. That is how math works. And Roger, what is that first category we're going to talk about? The story and setting. The second category. The characters and development. Number three, if you please. The art and animation. Number four. The soundtrack. And finally, that last category, that good buddy's wiggle room, that je ne sais quoi. Roger, what does that mean? I do not know what. I don't know what. And that's how we're going to get to it. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Uh, let's talk about this story and setting, shall we? Yep. You see that first one? It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is the continuation. It picks off. <laughs> that, it picks is off. The, that is the fun thing about yeah. doing a second season is that we could just finish this category most we of the time. We do it with. real quick. It more or less picks up exactly where that first one uh, 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 left us. Uh, Senku is in Ishigami Village. He is working with Chrome and Kohaku and Gen and everyone else there to figure out a plan and a strategy and get ready they are preparing to go to war with the Tsukasa empire notably Tsukasa and his empire are for sure the more aggressive group Mm -hmm. but one important note here is that homies know if they come if they run up on us and go to war we're probably done so. Yeah. So we got to get in there yeah, they first. Are, they are way stronger than we are. Yes. They so. What they will not be expecting is, particularly because it's the winter and it's all snowy, it's hard to move around, they will not be expecting a preemptive strike. And that is what the plan is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's also a few tricks and whatnot along the way uh, involving a number of different technologies that, of course, our boy Senku with his ridiculous leek-shaped hair is going to set us the up ye with. The ass haircut. Why do you... You got to quit doing... No, come man. On. I, come on. Come in. It's a fun word. I'm sorry. Did you just, like, recently play through Grand Theft Auto V or something? No, I, I learned that word online. Jesus. And uh, the first thing I looked since I'm white is, can I say this word? And then this... <laughs> That's usually what we call you, uh, you types. You know, you got that yee yee truck, and you got the yee. <laughs> um, and then the I moment some- that I found out, I went next door to the game store. Yeah, and I found out every nerd in there that I could say say they had a yee ass haircut. You're a bad person. And boy, did it fit for all of them. Oh Jesus, you're terrible. Anyway, but it is fun to say yee yee ass haircut. All right. Anyway, let's continue. Uh. That's it. So, <laughs> That's are you saying pretty- that Senku does not have a yee ass haircut? I wouldn't call it that. No. Okay. What would you prefer? Uh, I'd say it's dumb as hell and looks like leaks. Well, no. What what haircut would be a yee ass haircut in your opinion? <sighs> Do we have to get into this right I now? I just want to know real quick. I mean, literally, just watch the very famous scene from friggin' uh, what you call uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. They did. That's where it comes. I ain't from. got time to play those games. You ain't got to play the game. Just Google yee ass haircut, and it'll be the first thing you see. Okay. You get rid of that yee ass haircut, get some bitches on your dick. That's literally the line. Like, yeah. that is the uh, Urban Dictionary definition even, of it. I haven't even played the damn game. I'm not going to play that game. I played four and I fell off a building because the motherfucker don't turn around. He like walks to the side and it very much upset me. This is not the video game podcast. We You're can right. start one of those if there's interest. Let us continue. All we right. might have to bleep that. 
I don't know if people are expecting us to say bitches on your dick during the Dr. Stone Stone Wars review. It's fine. All right. Anyway, characters in development. I might put some <laughs> dolphins in there. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> For my own sake. Thank you. Um, characters in development. It is pretty much the same characters uh there's a few twists and turns with like where some people end up and whatnot but for the most part it's the same guys you got senku and the kingdom of science in ishigami village and then you got the sukasa empire which is him and his cronies and a bunch of people that he has been breaking out right. of the stones uh basically by order of how useful they will be to him uh our guy has a plan that he intends to stick to and there you go mm -hmm. but we do get a few new notable characters, mostly on Tsukasa's Empire side. Notably, yeah. uh, we got Ukyo, who Ukyo, yeah. has the world's greatest ears. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, don't. he hears so damn good. This shit is goofy to me. This guy has great hearing because he worked on a submarine listening to the sonar. Now, I would imagine. Now, I mean, he, he worked that because he had good hearing, obviously. Yeah. I, I said it backwards, but come on, man. <laughs> I would, I would imagine. He is a beat did look awfully young to be working on a submarine, did yeah. he not? Yeah, he did, didn't he? He sure did. Look, the show don't make. Look, the, the, let's talk about another character, Yo, who looks awful young to be a police officer. And he did, in fact, uh, maybe, maybe an error of his youth, immediately whip his gun out. Uh, <laughs> He's a, not a good guy. Not a good guy. This is look. When we say all cops are bad, this is the guy we're talking about. Yeah. I also say often that that things uh, things would probably be helpful if we infuse more younger people into them. But you know, maybe this, not this maybe one. not that. Maybe not this guy. This guy's a bad person. Uh, one more that I would like to knock on is uh, Nikki, who is perfect and who's do never love, done anything wrong. I do love Nikki. She's great. You got listen. You give me a lady with big muscles, and you know I'm in. Mm -hmm. You know I'm in. You found my style. That's it. Uh, I will say notably. I do appreciate that she appears to be the only female character in this whole freaking show who does not have the weird far apart Sid the Sloth eyes. And I think that's because she is so much like musclier and more quote unquote mannish. Um, which, yeah, all right, all right, character designers, okay. But whatever, I love her. Yeah. She's great. She's I, think great she, I think she'll. I mean, I always like the design of the eyes, and I, I like the way they do the features. It's interesting. It's different. It's fine. I will say that, like, there is... So, if you've seen the first season, you know that there is a decent explanation for why Kohaku and basically every woman in Ishigami Village has those weird far apart eyes. It's true. There's a decent explanation for that. There's not really one for why everyone else does. All the all the rest of the female characters. I think that's just how they draw. They kind of got a little bit of the same face going on, is what I'm saying. Sure. Except for I, Nikki, I, who's perfect and who yeah. has never done anything I, well, wrong. I think I think part of it is just you know it's just a creative like like how it's do, a creative style. How do, I'm not how do, yeah, anything. how do we set this from you know looking like so many other anime? Uh, and I think they do a good job, man. I think it's I, I think art, it looks original and it's cool. Well, let's I mean since we'll, we're talking we'll get, about we'll get it, into since it. we're talking about before it. we before we get out of here, I All think right. it's definitely worth mentioning that uh, two characters from the original season, the first season of Doctor Stone, get a whole lot more, uh, and that's Yoga oh, yes. and uh, Hamura. Yeah, both we of do them see you a see a lot them. more. You see a lot more of both of them now. I mean, you they they get more. I wouldn't yeah. say they are by any means main characters. No. Until no, but, maybe very close to the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you get a lot more of both of them uh than you did in the first season, which I mean, it's not saying nothing. I'm not saying that's nothing because there is more. They didn't mm -hmm. get a lot in the first season anyway. I no. mean, really no, you, like you, you, you got get, you one get more good of a episode. feeling of who they are and what they do. You yeah. get some of their backstory. Certainly. Uh, and it's decently well done, dare I say. Do you want to move on to art and animation so I can talk about those weird-ass eyeballs? Uh, yeah, man, let's let's get on it. They got a little bit of same face is all I'm saying. You know, if it's same face in a different setting, I'll take it. All right. Because it does, the show sets itself apart with its own unique style. Sure. And I commend it for that. And I, I like the way, I really do like the way the characters look. I like those big slanted eyeballs. I like the, like, kind of like, you know, like, uh, Hamora has... The way her lips and stuff are, where they're kind yeah. of bigger and puffier. It just looks, it looks unique. It looks different, I'm, and it's pleasing to my eye. I, I really enjoy it. I'm always fascinated with, you know, it really feels like somebody sat down with yeah. this show and 
and took some time to think about these characters. I'm I'm with it to an extent. What I'm saying is like when I look at Promise Neverland, for example, and say, man, everyone's got a big ass chin in this show. And I look then I look at Dr. Stone and I see specifically all but like one of the female characters have these very far apart eyeballs. I'm like, that's definitely a choice they made. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm saying it's a little weird. Okay. Is that fair? And that's fair. I think it's fair. I think there's I think there's an opposite side though. Is you know, a lot of times, dude, consistency is what holds things together. I guess. You know? Um Otherwise, on the art and animation, it's fucking Dr. Stone, baby. Yeah. It's smooth. It's, it's clean. Good. It's, it's very good. well done. I will say that, like, when I when I really pop for an art style, it's got to be, like, it's something that is either truly beautiful to me. Like, sure. for example, um, uh, 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 Bathroom Ghost guy. Hanako-kun. Toilet Hanako-kun. Hanako-kun. Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, which was, like, one that had very little animation but was absolutely beautiful to look at. Or it's got to, like, kind of mess with the format and, like, switch up the art styles, not unlike a Mob Psycho 100, where mm-hmm. they they very often will switch up how the stuff is drawn sure. just to, like, mess with it. Or even um, uh, uh, the one the, I'm snapping because I can't remember the name of anything. Uh, they do the mixed media thing, like in the, the Witch Show. What was that? Uh, Ma- Ma- uh, Madoka Magica. Okay. Where they where they do the mixed media stuff. Sure. And like it's like actually two different art styles at once kind of thing. I love that stuff and that's what pushes an art style over for me. This one, I'll just tell you now, I didn't give this a perfect two on art and animation, but it's very, very good. Yeah. It is very smooth. It is yeah. very clean. It is everything about it just looks A1, man. They, they put their money in the art animation and it shows. Yeah. And I think, you know, like we're... I think you like you. I guess what is I don't want to say typically aesthetically pleasing. What people yeah. are like, that's beautiful, but it does you know to an extent you know like your your style of art style like especially with anime and stuff is you can look at it and say hey that is beautiful, right? And the, undeniably it is. Where in my opinion you know like where this really wins is it feels like it feels like it took enough inspiration from '90s anime and stuff, sure. but they still made it their own thing, like. I feel like I could, you know, if you if you tone this down or whatever, if you put it in a 4-3 aspect ratio and threw it on a CRT TV, the show would look like it came out of the 90s. Yeah, no, I'm not saying yeah. I, I get that. Uh, design-wise. It's just like, I don't know. It's sure. I'm I'm not I'm not saying I don't anything think you're bad shit on it or anything. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I it's very very clean and well done. Yeah. It's just if it had done like a little like again, I go back to Mob Psycho. If it had like switched it up a little bit and done like some extra, you know, stuff, yeah, then yeah, I'd probably love it even more. Yeah. But in terms of like, if this is the standard for anime, then we're in very good condition. Yeah. You know, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. A- anyway, Mob Psycho is something special. That's what I mean. Baby, it's special. And I'm not saying this isn't special, but I'm saying it's just if I very, could go very above good. my two point scale. I would for Mob Psycho. Bitch, you know it's you're special, gonna baby. at some point. You I will not. I will monster. never do it. I will just cap out. It's like I'll be clipping through the top. You know, things that are obviously better than others uh, are just gonna remain a two. I don't believe you. When, we, when for season two, we we had talked about how uh, we we had talked about at the rating thing. Like I was, I said after we had reviewed Mob Psycho 100 season two, I was like, man, I'm I'm amazed you didn't just go ahead and give it a, a 9.99 just to mess with us. And you were like, damn, I should have. Like, I feel like you're gonna at some point nah, do some man. silly shit. Anyway, uh, music and sound, how are we feeling about it? Uh, I thought it was really good. I thought the interstitial this time around was uh, a bit better than in the first season. Yeah, the, the um, victory theme, that swelling music, like when something good happens, mm-hmm. it hits the same every time. It feels good. Yeah, I thought, you know, you know, things that are, I can't really say, but they would build contraptions, and that contraption sounded like that contraption. Yeah, man. And boy, when that contraption really fired off, it sounded like that contraption. It was fu- it was cool. You are really dancing um, around the issue to avoid yeah. spoilers, but uh, yeah. But <laughs> the music and stuff, the battle scenes, you know, obviously they this is Stone Wars. They'll they'll throw in some guitar and some good, you know, huge riffs and stuff in there mm-hmm. to to amp up the the uh, the excitement of the fight. And yeah. it does oh, it does a really good job. I thought musically this one was well put together. The closing song is very good, but damn, that opening song is a it fucking rips. banger. I, I and I, I don't want to. I'm not shitting on the first season. This is so much better than the, the first season. The first opener. season's opening had that like the wobbly voice. It was fine. It was very yeah, well it was done. Good. Yeah, oh, hi, yo, yeah. like, like that's hi, great. Yo, that's fucking great. This one just 
rocks. It sounds so good. It's a little bit funky and a little bit yeah. rock. It fucking ooh, it's it, very it good. rips, dude. It, it's it's good. Yeah, the opening just whips ass and, on and, this one. And well, and the the animation and stuff they made for it, you know, where yeah, yeah, where everybody's like sitting in their own place in the real world or whatever, listening to this song. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking cool, dude. You even got Gen like hitting the fucking lyric at the end of it. Like, yeah, oh. he's singing into the the into the, Martin, fucking, yeah. the, the phonograph looking thing. Ah, oh, it it rocks. It's good, dude. It rips that is and it a rocks. very very good opening. It's very very well. Done. I love it. It's got the horn that bam 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 bam. bam. It's fucking <laughs> rocks, dude. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, music and sound on this was quite well done. And you got anything else there? Do we want to move to the je ne sais quoi? We'll hit that je ne sais quoi. Is it a je ne sais quoi? All right. You want to take it first? You want me to take it first? I'll go, I'll go first. You go ahead. Um, so on je ne sais quoi, I, I, I struggle to find... I really enjoy this show. So yeah. I struggle to find anything that I could pick out about it. But if I were to, you know, throw one small nitpick, is that I do wish it had more than 11 episodes. Yeah. I wish it, they could have, you know, like, give me the 13. Give me the 13, Yeah, baby. but then it'd be another, we, like, we, it'd I, be another six to eight months before we got it, baby. Yeah, but, mm, well, not if, not if, not you're, if, it's, not just, if yeah. it's just 13, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I would have loved to have got just a little more of Tsukasa's uh, empire or whatever, the characters. In. Just yeah. a... Just a smidge more, and I think those two episodes really could have done it. Yeah, without, especially coming off of the first season where yeah. you get a full twenty-four, and the first one builds very well. Yeah, um, you know, I think that this one remains on par with the first one. Yeah, but it could have been better with just a little more. Than yeah, the first I wouldn't. Season. I don't think there's anything wrong with the build of this mm-hmm. one. I will say that you can very easily segment it into preparation and action. Yep, basically, um, without getting too spoilery. I mean. It's called Stone Wars. You know there's going to be yeah. a fight. But, yeah, I'm with you. It, it felt like, you know, with a couple more, you would be able to get a little more of those characters and maybe a little more cool, like, science-y invention yeah. stuff. The first season, yeah. with the 24, you got a whole lot more of it. But there's still a decent amount. But being compressed into 11 episodes, damn, the show did a really good job. I think I of, think it works of, very well yeah. for what it did. It, it is compact, and it is, it is action-packed. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, there are some emotional moments towards the end there. It really, you know, hits the uh, the spectrum of, of sure. everything that something a good shonen does. Yeah. Um, and with the, the the cool edge of being all sciencey and stuff, and in the stone world, it's it's a very unique show. And and once again, this season did a great job. I love the first season. I love this season. I feel like it could have set itself above the first season with just a little more, just a yeah. smidge more. But you know, aside from that, yeah, you know, I have no no bad things to say because I really like Doctor Stone. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, as far as my je ne sais quoi, my my wiggle room goes on this one. Um, I'll just say honestly, Doctor Stone has never been like top of my list on whenever it's out. I I enjoy the show fine. I just I don't know. It just doesn't really always hit me right. Um, and I will admit that for the first so many episodes of this one. It kind of felt like a thing I was just watching because I want I knew I had seen the first season and I want to see what happened, but it wasn't like really gripping me. Um, toward the end, it did grip me, and mm-hmm. it gripped me pretty hard, um, and it got me going there. Uh, so yeah, I'm with it. I will say that among stuff that's on this season, I can't by any stretch I can't call it my favorite thing from this season. I will say. For new series this season, for 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 see, uh, stuff that started this season and is a sequel series, of which there are three, not counting Higarashi, which was a continuation from last season, mm-hmm. it's probably the best sequel series. Yeah, I'll just say that. Um, pretty easily, I would say the yeah. best sequel series this season. Would you say it has the best opening of the season? Is there something with a better opening than Man, this? I really like Skate the Infinity. So, oh, it is a good opening. It's a really good opening. Yeah. Even even Wonder Egg, it, while it's very different, is a very effective. Opening. Yeah, it's kind of um, subdued. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's basically it. I will say one more thing, and I cannot, I really can't talk about this without getting, without getting spoilery. But there's a there is an element of this that has to do with um, some characters kind of switching sides, mm-hmm. 
and I will say that some of the redemption slash uh, rehabilitation stuff that happens felt a little. I'm it. It certainly was not unearned, mm-hmm. but it felt a little kind of okay. Sure, kind of a little bit rushed, maybe. Does it? Yeah. Does it feel like it would be better with maybe like? Two Maybe more a couple episodes. more episodes. Sure, sure. I'm with you. <laughs> but like, yeah, there, there's some stuff that happens in there that like, I give it a pass because I want so very badly to like some of these characters. Sure. But it did feel a little oomphed. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, it is by no means unearned. It There is, in terms of like, you know, third act twist and whatnot, there are other shows that did it much much worse and i'm looking at you the day i became a god um but there are there are some it 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 just feels a little wonky sure it's not bad it's a little wonky yeah um but overall i enjoyed it uh yeah yeah yep you want to go ahead and hit those scores yeah man let's hit them all right baby boy how did you feel about the storing setting i gave it two points i gave it two points how about the characters in development I gave it a point and a half. 1.5. I also gave it a point and a half. How about the art and animation? I gave it 1.5. 1.5. We are dead even, folks. How about the music and sound? I gave it 1.5. 1.5. And finally, that je ne sais quoi. Is this where we diverge? Because I gave it the full two. I gave it one and a half. There we go. There you go. Uh, that puts me at eight, and I believe you eight and a half. Is that right? Yep. Eight and a half for me. As well so, done. Yeah. So I'll, animos definitely for both of us. High animos definitely mm-hmm. and amazing for me. I will say that I didn't look at our full review before when we did Doctor Stone. I did mm-hmm. look at my own notes from when we did Doctor Stone the first season, and that is a half point better than I gave it last yeah. time. I believe. Yeah. So your point. I think I stayed exactly the same. Yeah. I don't think I gave the first season of Doctor Stone an amazing. I would almost put money that it was an eight point five. I feel pretty confident that it was. Yes. Yeah. It is. It's a great show. I will say more than anything seeing how this one ends uh one really bonkers stuff happens at the end of yeah. the show but also i like at the end of the first season i was like that was a cool show there's gonna be more neat i really want to know what happens next yeah very very badly <laughs> yeah it looks fun it looks like <laughs> like a what lot. it kind of reminds me of is whenever now this show is very long and i'm i'm somewhat high on the episodes and that'd be one piece but when one piece really opens up mm-hmm. um the show gets really awesome and i feel like the show is about to open up maybe even in the same sense that one piece really did but how dare you uh <laughs> I, I don't know why maybe maybe that is why i made the comparison but maybe. um but I yeah like it, it does feel like it's about to open up a whole lot and it's, yeah i'm excited for it I, I i can definitely say this one if it if it wasn't a full if it's if 24 is a full season for this and this was a like call it a half season even though it was a full season um it it truly has me hyped for more of this show yeah more so than the first season even got close to so i'm super down for this one i can't wait to see we had about a year wait in between so hopefully it's only you know hopefully hopefully this time next year we'll be we'll be knee deep into some more dr stone we can only hope uh but yeah that's about it for us y'all uh we did it um check us out we did the thing yep next week next week yeah unless you unless you're not gonna do next ba- week barring an unforeseeable catastrophe we will be here next week and, we'll and find you out. count it that is what three in a row can you believe this will it? be that'll be four four in a row i think damn dude i can't uh, believe we're, we're, we're really we're making really, it you're really telling light, on us i'm telling you the light is at the end of the tunnel baby i love you but you're really telling we're really telling on ourselves whenever we say oh can you believe we're doing multiple episodes in a row instead of taking a week off i uh, i mean i really think that people probably understand given the current situation hey, that's been yeah, going yeah. on for uh, a good you gotta, fucking you gotta year. think about this in the future though the archives it's gotta yeah man boom 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 anyway we are gonna be here next week and we are gonna be talking about Wonder Egg Priority. Oh, Finishing baby. up. Oh, I'm stoked baby. to talk about it. Oh, I'm gonna, sure. I still haven't watched an episode of where, you know, something happens. And yeah, you're, me last you're like week, two or three we'll back at yeah. this point, and I am fully caught up, and I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> this, oh, God. Uh, show's yeah, Wonder me. Egg Priority next week. It's going to be awesome. Uh, no ramble for this week. Uh, what I am going to do for the audio listeners is uh, I recorded last week a little small mm-hmm. review by myself of When They Cry Gal. Which so, is just on YouTube. Yep. Now it's going to be on the podcast yep. proper. It'll be so at the end of this. You'll hear you, that in a second. If you do want to hear that on YouTube, it is already up. You can go check it out right now. 
Um, and then a podcast. You're listening to this, so you're going to get that at the end as a little bonus. Yeah, man. It's like, what, eight minutes long? Seven, yeah, seven it's not nine. very long at all. Yeah, it's quick. It's easy. Uh, no ramble this week. We will maybe do one next week. Um, we'll find out. Yeah. You know, stuff, stuff's gotten a little weird for us, so we're working yeah, on it. Yeah, I'm actively... Uh, getting off the nicotine yeah i, I have He's a little shy. on day three with no nicotine and it is it is rough but i'm going to make it it's You're gonna, gonna be good it, and i am can i just say legitimately this is not me trying to like be cute or funny or anything i'm really proud of you boss thanks man it, it feels feel, feels good i kicked the cigarettes a long time ago picked up another you know unfortunate habit involving nicotine trying um, to get off it now yeah now now it's it's fucking done i'm done with it it's done it's fucking done love you baby all right uh let's bust on out of here though so normally we'd have the full plugs at the end of the show i'm just gonna say you know quick stuff check us out full plugs are in the description of the podcast and or youtube video you are watching right now we are on all the podcast things apple Podcasts. you can follow us google podcast or uh app uh, google play um we're on podbean we're on spotify baby mm-hmm. we're on all the stuff one uh one final shout out for a good buddy uh I'm pretty sure she is listening to the audio version of this. So, uh-huh. uh, Allie did send us in a question. Uh, we will in the next ramble. We will be answering that question. Oh hell yeah! And you'll so, you'll remember to let me know I, before yeah, then, so I can yeah. think about it. Yeah, well, <laughs> instead I, of just I didn't, bringing it on me like you sometimes. Well, I knew do. I knew that from knew we yesterday. Yeah, we're not doing a ramble, but um, but yeah. Uh, once we once we get around to a ramble, Allie, we're gonna we're gonna do your question. I did not forget. So shout please please do not think that I forgot. Y'all want to take us out? Uh, we'll just do a uh, classic lovey, you know. All right, classic love you. Uh, you know, and you know why it's classic love you? Because we do love you. Love you. Love you.